There's but so much this young man can take. And also, uh, to address the reports that are out there, um, I've known his brother Reggie Rose since Derrick Rose has come into this league. Yes, I was talking to him the other night, just like Mike Wilbon and David Aldridge and everybody else was talking to him, okay? We did not talk about Derrick Rose, believe it or not, that day. This is from last year and the year before that when he has openly and publicly stated that, you know what, my brother needs some help. And as I watched the Chicago Bulls over the first three games of this season, he clearly needs help. You got a guy in Lou Aldang that led the league in minutes the last two years. He's entering, I believe, let me make sure I'm correct here, he's in the last year of his deal. They got to find a way to resign him. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, when you look at Mike Dunleavy Jr., he's nothing more than a spot-up shooter. You lost Marco Bellinelli. You lost Dave, Nate Robertson. Mm -hmm. The team that you had available to you last year in Derrick Rose's absence, we were anticipating would be kept in the fold. That way, when Derrick Rose returned, the complimentary pieces surrounding him would be enough to compete with the Miami Heat. And I'm here to tell you, that is simply not the case. I think Lou Aldang is aging in dog years. You put too much time on his body. Mm -hmm. I think Joakim Noah needs more help. I yeah. think the Taj Gibsons and the Carlos Boozers of the world is up as complimentary as they may be. Derrick Rose needs another playmaker, somebody that can create their own shot off the dribble and do some things. What does all of this have to do with Derrick Rose being too nice? The problem is, because he's so nice, Paxson, uh, Gar Foreman, these are guys that are exceptional executives. I'm very fond of them. They do great jobs. But mm -hmm. somebody needs to remind them that if you are going to compete with the Miami Heat and, dare I say, the Indiana Pacers, you have got to get Derrick Rose more help. And because he is such a nice guy that wouldn't necessarily demand those things, the effect trickles down. Because, one, one the organization, the priority that they would place on providing him the help, it's not going to be the same as it would be as if you were screaming for help. That's number one. And number two, when you're out there on that court, no matter what calls you don't get, Everything is okay. The sun is, the sun is going mm -hmm. to shine tomorrow. That's not going to work either. That's what Thibodeau was alluding to. Yep. That's the point that he was trying to make. That's the point we hope that Derrick Rose will heed. But more importantly, the Bulls organization needs to heed it even more so because Mike Dunleavy is not an upgrade from Marco Bellinelli. Kirk Heinrich is not an upgrade from Nate Robinson because Nate Robinson brings a different kind of game to the equation at, than, than a Kirk Heinrich does. And obviously, you don't have enough shooters and mm -hmm. scorers on this team to help Derrick Rose, and that means you're going to waste away the best years of his career. Coming off the kind of injury he had last year, that's not good enough. Okay, you went big picture. I'm going to go back to Kerry's little picture, mm -hmm. just talking about this quote. I'm pretty sure that Coach Thibodeau just wants Derrick Rose to get to the free throw line more. Now, the, the mm -hmm. sort of the motivation of the quote, sure. that yeah. not enough fouls are called Pay on attention. a guy who drives the ball as furiously as anybody in the league drives the basketball. Nobody drives it, to, to quote him, any harder or any faster yes. than Derrick Rose does. Is Derrick a nice guy? Well, we all know. He, he this is a nice young man. Yes, he, he is. He's, he's made correctly. Now, does, does Coach Thibodeau want him to complain more to the referees? Does he want him to push back when he gets knocked to the floor? Does, does he want him to stand his ground and, and throw down with somebody? Is that what we're talking about here? Because here's my problem with the quote. You're right about this. Nobody drives the ball any harder than Derrick Rose does. But Stephen A., a whole lot of stars drive the ball smarter than Derrick Rose. He's just hell-bent, man. And maybe it's to your point of he just doesn't think he has any help out there. He doesn't trust any of his shooters, any of his wingmen. So to me, he just says, I'm going to put my head down, and I'm going as hard as I can go, even though i got to beat these two guys who have jumped me in a double team off this pick. And if I can duck through these two, there are going to be three more waiting at the rim. And the referees aren't buying it. They're just saying, that's not really smart basketball. That's what's happening. They're saying, you're, you're just going to shoot it up into those arms like that, and you want us to call a foul because you're running into those guys? <laughs> well, we're, we're not calling you for an offensive foul, but we're not going to give you the defensive foul either. That's what's happening so far this year. It, it's like he's got the weight of Chicago on his shoulders. He does. Right? And so you, you're not going to get those calls when, when you are driving um, – Ju just hell-bent for the yeah. basket. I'm but, sorry. But, uh, but Thibodeau is, is, is right 
in terms of what he's saying about getting some calls. Skip Bayless, Jimmy Butler has attempted more free throws than Derrick mm -hmm. Rose. No, I, Jimmy Butler has attempted I, more free you've throws. You've watched these games. Than, I, 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 I think Derrick's I've been the two of them. out of control. I was, I, was, out of control. I was at his first two games when they opened against Miami, yeah. and then when they played the Knicks. The, these refs the are double not teams fools. or whatever, they're, they're not buy he this. can get to the hole at will. But it's not about what they're buying, Skip. If you're getting, if you're penetrating into the teeth of a defense, you're blowing by defenders, and they don't have a direct path to block you. You have done your job in terms of getting to the hole and creating contact. Stephen, and they're and waiting at the hole. But no, no, no. They're, they're, they're two or sometimes, three arms some, up. Sometimes, you know, they're, they're right some, there. Sometimes, know, like, but sometimes they don't. What I'm saying to you is, I would agree with your point. If Derrick Rose was averaging more than three field goal, uh, free throw attempts a game. Now, if it were seven and Thibodeau don't think it should have been 10 or 12, uh, I'm not trying to hear that. Yeah, yeah. But there is no way that a player is aggressive and as effective and as explosive as Derrick Rose should be attempting three free throws a game. No, 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 no. He's they are missing some calls.